Hi everyone, today I am making egg fast pasta noodles, no special ingredients required, and they are also good for beef, butter, bacon, and egg, the B-B-B-E. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out some of my other videos. And if you are returning, welcome back and I hope you like today's video. Okay, so these noodles. These noodles are good for egg fast, keto, low carb, BBBE. They're basically just made of eggs butter and salt or mayo. I'm using butter mayo today. And uh, yeah, so they're good for all of those things. There's no other special ingredients required. Um, some of you probably saw me make the other type of noodles, the viral noodles for the egg fast. Those are great, but not everybody has that. So here's your other option. I will link my recipe down below so that you can print out the card if you like. This is my not so viral egg fast noodle. And, uh, and that is just fine. Uh, I'm going to show you what you can do with that noodle at the end. Uh, there's a couple of things that you might be surprised. So uh, let's get started. I am doubling the recipe today. So I'm going to put six eggs into my blender. You can also use an electric mixer for this. Um, doesn't have to be a blender. Probably if your butter mayo is super soft or your uh, butter is super soft, you could probably even use a whisk. Um, but I'm going to use a blender. Okay. There's our eggs. I'm going to put in six tablespoons of butter mayo. I'll link down the butter mayo recipe as well. I actually got this from Two Crazy Ketos and I have changed it a little bit to make it a little more spreadable. Um, so I'll, I'll link their original video down below as well as the one where I changed it. So, so you have those options. The uh, oven is set to 325. I should have had this measured out ahead of time. One, two, three. That looks like six in there. Hope you all were counting, because I wasn't. Going to put in a couple of good pinches of salt. When you're doing the beef, bacon, butter, and egg, uh, the only seasoning people use is salt, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to just two big pinches. And we will get that blended. So this is a Ninja blender. Um, any powerful blender, like maybe not a, a magic bullet might be too small. Unless you're just doing one recipe, I'm doubling the recipe, so that's why I went with my big blender. Good enough. So I've got two pans here. I am going to uh, spread some of this really super thin for the noodles. And this is my favorite pan that I've ever bought. It's a basically a silicone mat with a lip around it. I love it. I bought it from my friend Dawn, who is an Epicure person. So I'm going to link that below in case you don't have your very own Epicure person. Um, you, can, you can check it out. Uh, if you don't have this, uh, you can use one of these. And just like what I try to do when I used to use this, uh, you know, one of these, is I tried to make it so that, like I would pour the batter in and try to make it so that it didn't go further than this outline because it will kind of get in underneath and um, that's always fun to scrub that out. So that's why I love this one so much. It's not going anywhere. 
but I thought I'd show you that option. And then I have a smaller pan. So I'm going to make a thin layer here for noodles. I'm going to make some thicker ones here in this pan for French fries. Yes, yes indeed. So uh, you'll, have to <laughs> you'll have to see that. So let's go with this one first. I probably don't even really need this. I just had it handy just in case. I'm so used to using it with the other pasta. This one, you can just let it roll around. Uh, this pasta is uh, so easy to make. And you can, I'm just gonna put a touch more in. You want, to, you want it to, I don't know if we can get the camera in closer, but if you can see the color of the silicone mat underneath, it might be just a little too thin. So you want to have it as thin as you can, but enough so that you can still, you know, cut it into noodles and it's not gonna be like a crispy sheet. So let's see how that is. I've got a couple of mayonnaise lumps in there, so I'm gonna thin that out a bit. Okay, I think I need just a touch more. All right, so I'm gonna pour the rest in here. This will be a kind of a nice, uh, a much thicker one than that one. So it might even stay in the oven longer. Okay, so the oven is ready. I'm going to put this in and then that one. Like at, at the same time, but just, I'm gonna carry them separately. Sorry, I see a lump. I just want to squish it. Okay, this is going in. Okay, I'm setting it for 10 minutes. I think the thin bottom sheet will be ready in about 10 minutes. It's like my other pasta sheets that you've seen me make before. It, it When it starts to curl up around the edges, then that's when to take it out. So I'll see you back in the next segment. Okay, we're back and I need to explain what happened here. <laughs> so um, I forgot that the bottom rack of the oven, or I think the whole stove doesn't sit properly and especially on the bottom rack, if I put something there that's liquid, it all flows to one side. So I peeked in, I saw that it had all flowed to one side, so I turned it around and I tried to smoosh it over to the other side, but because it was partially cooked, I think I made it worse. However, that said, I think I will get some noodles out of this. So I'm going to do my best to, to get this off. And actually, I think I can peel this out now. I mean, it's coming up from this mat really nicely, so that's good. Um, but obviously I'm gonna have some parts here that are just too thin to work with. Okay. Well, that came off rather nicely considering. So it's not as bad as I thought. It just looks ugly. Whereas usually if you put it in the right place, it looks much prettier. So all I'm gonna do now is the same thing I do with my other noodles. I am rolling it up and I'm going to cut it into some nice thin slices. The edge will be just a little crispy. Those are Teddy's pieces. He'll like those. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm basically just cutting the noodles to whatever size I prefer. And uh, you can you can do the same. Uh, you can put this in egg drop soup if you're doing uh, beef, bacon, butter, and eggs. I mean, remember, there's only butter and eggs in there and salt. You can put it in uh, a meatball soup if you like or make a faux carbonara, toss it with some bacon, like cooked bacon, toss it with the noodles. You won't be able to put cheese on it but or cream in there. It's gonna taste pretty good, I think. And 
you'd be surprised at how well these hold up. They're not going to be like my other noodles, the viral noodles from the egg fast ones that I made from keto Asian flavors. And I'll link that video down below if, in case you want to make those. If you don't want to, you know, do that kind of thing, because that's, let's face it, it's not for everybody. Look at these noodles. These are noodles. Oh, Teddy's here. Would you like to have a noodle? Teddy likes the crispy bits on the end. Yes, he does. Would you like another one? Oh, good doggy. He's such a, oops, he's such a good dog. Oh, let's show them how you know how to lay down. Okay, lay down. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Very good. You earned that. Good doggy. Okay. So there's our noodles, oops. And did I say something about French fries before? Yes, I did. So uh, here's, here's this pan of a much thicker um, sheet. And I'm going to peel it out. So you can see that it's, uh, it's a lot thicker than that one was. And I'm going to cut it very thick. I still have my oven on because I'm putting these back in. Actually, I'm going to cut them one more time here. It'll make them easier to deal with. So if you have Redmond's uh, seasoning salt, this is where you'd want to use them or use that. I only have the regular, so I'm going to put some extra salt on. Oh, actually, I'm going to separate some because I'm going to show you something else. Okay, so these are going to be my salty french fries. I'm thinking burger and fries on Friday night or something. No bun, of course. Just fries and a big bacon-wrapped burger patty. Okay, so that's those. So these ones here, I made these. Now these are more for the egg fast. However, on the egg fast, you could put some uh, granular sweetener. Uh, the brown sugar one is nice. Uh, swerve or this or, or whichever with some cinnamon. Uh, I've never had a, I think it's called a churro. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. I've never had one before, but when I see pictures of them, I imagine that they taste like this. And I did this the other day and <sighs> very addicted. So if you're not a purist, you could call them carnivore and use the glycine. So I'm going to just do that with these ones. And this is a, an essential amino acid that I learned about on uh, Dr. Ken Berry's channel. It does make it taste sweet, even without using very much. I've just got one little serving here and I've only used half. So I'm, I'm going to flip them. Where's my cinnamon? Getting low. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm gonna need more cinnamon. Put it on my list. All right, basically I'm tossing these in the cinnamon that I got all over, all over this. And I'm gonna put them over here on this side. And I'm going to use the rest of my serving of glycine here. They are strangely addictive, whether you make the savory ones or the sweet ones. That's all I can say. So you'll have to decide if this is right for you or not, um, or just stick to the savory ones. Okay, so these are gonna go in the oven. Um, I seem to remember that I did it for about 10 minutes, but I'll check it and see. So we've got, we've got the cinnamon sugar ones here, salt there. I will see you back here in 10 minutes. All right, here they are. Oops, <laughs> don't wanna lose them. Um, you, you know, if you wanted to, you could probably leave them in. This was 15 minutes. 
Uh, you could get them even browner by leaving them, leaving them in a couple minutes. I actually uh, made some in the air fryer too the other day and they got really brown. So, it, you know, it really depends on your personal taste. No, Teddy, you have to wait your turn. Um, but while they're cooling off, I wanted to tell you about another option for the noodles. So I basically made a batch in that smaller pan and then I cut them into squares. And I've been enjoying these uh, with some uh, egg salad, I can make, you know, mix eggs with mayo, put it on top, and it's like a little piece of bread. So it's like sandwich bread. And I had written on here that each one is uh, half an egg and half a butter. So uh, that's another option. You can have uh, you can have a burger on a bun <laughs> or or you know skinny sandwich, whatever. Uh, so yeah, one more thing you can do with these. And I will probably eat those for lunch. So let's take a look here. Um, Teddy, you're gonna have to wait your turn. So there it is. It's sort of like a French fry. You can see it was just starting to get browned. This was in the oven for uh, 10 minutes. Then I flipped it over for five and I think maybe 10 minutes per side um, if you make them this big. You could also cut them a little thinner and then that may have been about right. Um, so, you know, uh, nice and salty. So I had these the other day, but I had cooked them longer and so they were really brown and, and pretty much almost crispy. Uh, and they were so addictive that I, I ended up eating all of them. And I was thinking they would be really good as a salty snack. You know, maybe if you're watching TV and uh, you miss chips, they might be good for that or to have with a burger. Now these are pretty amazing. There's something about the glycine that makes the outsides of these very crispy and then the insides are soft and they're really good. We've got that sort of cinnamony sweetness. Yeah. So that's another snack option. Um, and then you have your, your little sandwich and of course the noodles. So it's questionable whether this is uh, beef, butter, bacon and egg approved. I don't know. You can certainly do it on egg fast or regular keto. Um, and same with these as well. Your choice on those, however you run your program. So. I hope you enjoyed learning about egg fast noodles. Uh, by the time you see this, I will have pretty much, I think I will be finished my egg fast and be on to uh, beef, bacon, butter and eggs. And tomorrow I'm doing my prep for that. And I will uh, film that. And, uh, and so you can see maybe some new beef recipes. Um, I think I'm going to do do-it-yourself carnivore crisps for one of the things. So come back and see the next prep video. We'll see you next time. <music>